Hi, I'm Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, we are here today to make some adobe bricks or cob bricks, whatever you want to call them. And uh, I made a video a while back and it, it was just a really quick video. So this is going to be a more in-depth brick making process. So <laughs> I'm going to let Brian tell you how what we're going to do to make them, the ratios and stuff, because I'm not good with the numbers. That's my introduction. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna try a, a recipe we found online, but I mean everybody's soil is gonna be different, so it's kind of a crapshoot. We'll see how it goes. But we're starting out small, so I've got a measuring device here, which is just a little flower pot thing. I don't even know how big this is, but we're purposely keeping it small because we've got a ratio that we're gonna try. That when I when I add that many of them, it's gonna get good size. We're gonna do it in a wheelbarrow here. I think um, it's a cork. It might be a cork. So, but it doesn't really matter. What matters is the ratio. So the ratio we're gonna try today is we're gonna go four, four parts water. Uh, so we'll do that first. Then we'll put two parts of chopped straw. We've chopped this straw in a leaf, a leaf chopper, um, a leaf shredder. So four parts water to two parts straw. We're gonna go water first. We'll put the straw in. We'll move it around a little, get the straw wet. That's the start. Then we're gonna go seven each of these of just our native soil and also seven of sand. So seven of the native soil, seven of sand. So because we need all those, I'm starting with a small measuring device just so I don't make a ton and we'll see how it goes. And we're gonna pour those into a brick form. It's a sand that came from the wash that runs through here back yonder. And the soil and is just our native soil. Coarse sand. It's The soil is pretty high clay content just naturally around here. So we think it's gonna be pretty clay rich. So uh, it's just a test, we'll see how it goes. So now I'm going to go seven of native soil. Just scrape it. One. And you can mix as I go here so it doesn't get too bogged down. One sand. We made two batches at the recipe we said, and that filled five of these bricks. So I guess each of those batches made about two and a half bricks. Um, these bricks are 10 by 14, I think. And uh, so it's a two by four, so it's three and a half inches thick. Um, so that's how much we got and a little bit left over, we made a single brick. But um, when you scrape these off, the mix is pretty thick. So when you scrape them off, it actually pulls away from the edges a little bit. So the last step, and it's a little rough, so the last step is to add a little bit of water and you can just kind of smooth the top and you can get it to go into all the cracks and stuff in the you, edges. Um, it's actually the last step before it um, before it dries. It right? also... You then turn them over later, right? After also, we take yeah, the form. It also helps, this extra water helps in Arizona especially because if it dries too fast, 
it'll, it'll look crack. like concrete. If it dries too fast, it'll crack real bad. So the slower it dries, the better. I'm gonna make this thing a little dirty, but. So it doesn't take much to do this. But now I can go to drop into all the crevices. What thing is gonna be dirty? The form? The, uh, the no, the uh, watering can. Your watering can. Oh. It's gonna be pretty dirty. Oh, I've. It's gotten dirty before <laughs> when I've used it. Yeah, this is I just a rinse lot it because it definitely had pulled away from the edges. Yeah. Well, uh, you can see on. Uh, I'm gonna just show the ones. See the, the difference? Maybe show them side by side. Oh yeah. Big difference. See how there's gaps and dents and all that stuff. Now you don't you don't want it to be like super super smooth necessarily for when you actually build them. You want a little bit of those those cracks and crevices will allow them to stick together better. But for us, because it's just a test for us, we're trying to make these fairly smooth, I guess. Should I knock this one? Uh down a little bit well not yet because we don't know oh okay i might need to take some of it for some of these or something i wanted so, yeah, to the show wetness, the wetness just helps it fill in i wanted to show these that i made um earlier is that okay if i oh we should also say are you filming yeah i'm just gonna show these real quick to to show the ones okay. that i had i was just messing around with putting stuff in them but you can see how that is really pretty that's very solid. But I didn't do like an exact ratio. I was just kind of messing around. Yeah. So we're gonna leave these for basically 24 hours. Right. And then we're gonna peel the form off. And they'll still be wet inside, but they should be dry enough that we can take the form off and they'll hold. And uh, we'll kind of stand them up on their side. We'll brush the bottoms off and stand them up and let them dry the rest of the way. I forget how long that takes. It kind of depends on your climate and everything. So ours will probably dry pretty fast. So again, we might we might douse these with water a couple times just to keep them from drying too fast. Again, if they dry too fast, they will crack badly. Okay. All right. So we'll wait 24 hours and come back and see how they're doing. They're definitely still wet. Let me see it. I want to see it. Oh yeah, so we got to turn it over, but it's still kind of wet. And we're going to scrape this off. There. So here they are. Now we want to we want to turn them Beautiful. like like that, but you're supposed to turn them and then scrape it. Right? Just a little. It doesn't it's got a little even loose look like, dirt on the bottom. It doesn't even look like it needs to be. Well, I, I leveled this out pretty good, so there shouldn't be a lot going on on the bottom. Oh, wow. That one's got some. You can tell our uh, our yep. land has a lot of a lot of clay in it. So here is a finished brick. Look how pretty it looks out there. Guess it's summertime now. <laughs>